but we are returning because I feel pretty good about this. A Louisiana search crew is returning to a southern Kentucky lake to search for a man who disappeared four years ago. A Lexington family is out of their home tonight after a fire ripped through it this evening. You know, we've got a lot of support and a lot of people praying for our little girl. And a Central Kentucky community is helping the family of a baby who police say a babysitter abused. This is WKYT News at 11. We are wrapping up a beautiful weekend. Thanks for staying up with WKYT. I'm Kristen Kennedy. Rain returns this week, and chances for showers will be sticking around. We begin tonight with WKYT meteorologist Jim Caldwell and the no wait weather forecast. And Kristen, once they get here, those showers and thunderstorms, they want to hang around, and they likely will starting with tomorrow. Isolated chances, and then we just keep tracking them Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I mean, it's all across the board in our seven day. Out there right now in Lexington, we're at 61 degrees with our winds coming out of the east southeast around three miles per hour. So, not a very breezy night at all. Wasn't that way during the daytime hours either. Temperatures around us, you're going to find pockets of warmth and some cooler stuff also showing up out there, like uh, Mount Sterling. They're down to 55 degrees. Compare that to Richmond at 63, or even London, 59. So, 50s, 60s, and close to 70 showing up uh, across parts of uh, central and eastern Kentucky tonight. As we progress through the rest of the overnight, You'll notice that we wake up tomorrow morning in the mid 50s. Not a bad start. Then we get into the afternoon and evening, and that's going to be a period where we're tracking daytime highs in the upper 70s to right around 80. But notice you got a little cooler shot of air showing up to our southeast. It's picking up on the chance of some showers and thunderstorms. We're not seeing any of that tonight, but some of the cloud cover is starting to push into the area. But we will be focusing on that eventually because the rainy pattern comes together. I'll track it with the hour by hour coming up at around 11 11. He has been missing for nearly four years, and a Louisiana search crew thinks they can find him. Clarence Holmes disappeared on Laurel Lake in 2012. He was helping others during a storm. Since then, the Southeast Louisiana Underwater Search Team has looked for him several times. This week, they are returning to the lake. WKYT's Caitlin Sentner shows us images they think will help lead them to homes in our top story at 11. It's been a massive search with multiple go arounds and still no sign of Clarence Holmes. We need to find this man. We need to get him home to his family, and, you know, we're running out of options now. It was back in July of 2012 that Clarence Holmes disappeared during a storm at Laurel Lake. The 32-year-old was boating in the Marshes Branch area when family says he was trying to help others tie up their boats and disappeared. Like any investigation, you just basically you follow where the path leads and you either rule something in or you rule it out and you go where it goes. The Southeast Louisiana Underwater Search and Recovery did multiple dives back in 2014. According to Mark Mishute, cadaver dogs alerted human remains. So that was that was good for us. It was in the area where his boat was found, uh, within half a mile or so. So we started diving and just doing a systematic grid of the whole area up to about 130 feet deep. After searching through the underwater forest, nothing promising showed. But Mishud has a new lead. Sonar pictures show a tree he says could hold the weight of a human body. When you're looking at it at two angles. It's not as likely that it's going to be something that isn't there. And that's what we're hoping on. You know, if I didn't think that we had something to go look at, of course, we wouldn't return. But we are returning because I feel pretty good about this. Despite the deep waters and wind conditions, Mishud is hopeful. Holmes' father, Arnold, will be his captain this week during the search. If, if we find that this isn't anything and we have nowhere else to go, they're still going to keep searching. They're going to keep trying to do what they can and, and until they can find Clarence because, you know, it's just that important. It's their child, you know, it's, it's their son, grown up or not. Mark Mishud says they'll use ROV equipment during the dives this week. He says it could take days. At the live desk, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. They will start their search Tuesday. New tonight, Lexington police are looking for the man who robbed the gas station. 
Police tell us a man walked into the marathon on South Broadway, fired a shot, and demanded cash. He did get away with some money, and officers believe he ran down Gibson Avenue. Police weren't able to catch him. We threw up a perimeter pretty fast. Uh, generally, I had officers at four points around here, my sergeant set up. Uh, we called out our canine, uh, but due to the foot traffic in the area, uh, we decided to go ahead and break perimeter before canine got on scene. Police say there were five customers inside the gas station during the robbery. No one was hurt, but investigators say the man could face wanton endangerment charges. Police in southeastern Kentucky are trying to track down an inmate on the run. Hazard police say 27-year-old Samantha Campbell escaped from the Kentucky River Regional Jail this morning. They say she was taking the garbage outside when she ran to the Walmart parking lot and got into a silver Pontiac G6 with a black front bumper. Police believe Campbell is wearing white shorts and a white t-shirt. She was last seen in the Lost Creek area. Lexington firefighters are trying to figure out what caused a fire that destroyed a home. The fire started at a home on Greenway Court in Masterson Station. We're told everyone inside got out safely. Police say they have to find another place to stay tonight. One firefighter did go to the hospital for smoke inhalation. He is expected to be okay. And in Madison County, firefighters say a man jumped from his window when flames tore through his home. They say a home on Sycamore in Richmond caught fire this afternoon. They were only able to save the garage and everything inside it. A neighbor said he saw the flames and banged on the man's door to get him out. It's scary to us, obviously, but um, uh, the guy was able to get out, obviously. Uh, he, was, he was taking a nap, he said. Uh, he woke up to the smoke. Um, got up and when was able to get out. He's able to get one of his dogs out as well. Neighbors say two dogs died in the fire. Crews are still trying to pinpoint the cause. Firefighters are trying to figure out what caused a fire that destroyed an old Harlan County building. The fire started around 7 last night at the old Georgia's department store building on Main Street in Harlan. Firefighters were out there nearly 12 hours. They say the fire destroyed two different stores on the ground level as well as apartments on the second floor. No one was injured. A Jessamine County baby is on the road to recovery weeks after police say her babysitter abused her. Nicholasville police have charged Erin Thompson with criminal abuse. And while her case plays out in the courtroom, the community is finding ways to help the family with medical expenses. WKYT's Hillary Thornton is talking to the father of Kylie Joe. Dozen spent Sunday enjoying the weather in Nicholasville with a motorcycle ride, some good food and live music, all to help out a family that has been living a nightmare. When we heard what happened, we were most devastated. We could not believe what happened. Four-month-old Kylie Jo left with serious injuries, including a skull fracture, brain damage, and broken ribs. After earlier this month, police say her babysitter, Erin Thompson, abused the young child. We were all on the phones wanting to come together and uh, do something for this family. Knowing they had to help in some way, friends and family organizing Sunday's event at Mama's Last Chance Saloon among the caravan of bikers, the surprise of many there. When they showed up, everybody was just kind of speechless. Were Kylie Joe's parents. It's amazing, really. You know, you, you don't understand until something like this happens, but you know, we've got a lot of support and a lot of people praying for our little girl, and it's overwhelming. Joe Sizemore says while riding in the benefit for his daughter, he could not help but be overwhelmed when looking back at all of those riding in support and knowing how far his little girl has come. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. She's, you know, come from, we didn't think she was going to make it, to now it's looking really good. You know, we got a long road to go, but she's fighting every day. In Nicholasville, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. The case against Aaron Thompson is now with the grand jury. Security at the Lexington Center got a chance to use their new stand-up metal detectors tonight. About 8,500 fans packed Rupp Arena for the James Taylor concert. They used 14 detectors at tonight's event. The big test will be Tuesday's Pearl Jam concert. More than double tonight's crowd is expected to attend Tuesday. The center will be using three entrances that night, and there will be metal detectors at all three. So I'll have more units on south, more units on north, but also the entrance on the west side of the building, or some refer to it as the student entrance, that entrance will be open as well. So again, where you park, where you arrive, there should be an entrance closest to you. 
The most important thing I reiterate, though, is plan ahead and arrive early. The Lexington Center bought a total of 30 metal detectors. A staple to Rupp Arena will soon come down. Our partners at the Herald Leader Report, Big Bertha, the sound system in the center of Rupp, will be used for the last time at UK's graduation, May 8th. On May 9th, the system will come down, and Rupp Arena will prepare for the installation of a new scoreboard. It and a new sound system will be in for the start of UK's 2017-2018 basketball season. The whole system is part of a $15 million technology upgrade. Still ahead on WKYT News, a lot of history in a little store. Penn's store is celebrating the 20th annual Kentucky Writers' Day. And big changes are drawing a big crowd in Nelson County. Why protesters are angry with the mayor in Bardstown. V-Ranch great five-day sale ends Tuesday. A Mana top load washer, $2.99 super saver. A Mana 25 cubic foot stainless side-by-side -side with ice and water dispenser, only $8.99. 18 months, zero interest on TVs and appliances. Nobody beats V-Ranch. With a heavy-duty welded steel deck and exclusive smooth track steering, the Hustler Raptor Zero Turn Mower doesn't play around. It's got the power to turn your weekend to-do list into your weekend to-done list. The legendary Hustler Raptor family starting at just $27.99. Tools, not toys. Get your Hustler mower at Huss Equipment in Nicholasville and Southern States Co-op of London. You've upgraded all your old technology. So what about this? It's time to get into the new with Ford. New lets you see around corners. New gives you a hand when yours are full. New can practically park itself. New is Ford, America's best-selling brand. Just announced, get into an escape with 0% financing for 72 months, plus 500 bonus cash. Only at your local Ford store. I don't want to live with the uncertainties of hep C. Or wonder whether I should seek treatment. I am ready. Because today, there's Harvoni, a revolutionary treatment for the most common type of chronic hepatitis C. Harvoni is proven to cure up to 99% of patients who've had no prior treatment. It's the one and only cure that's one pill once a day for 12 weeks. Certain patients can be cured with just eight weeks of Harvoni. With Harvoni, there's no interferon, and there are no complex regimens. Tell your doctor if you have other liver or kidney problems, HIV, or other medical conditions, and about all the medicines you take, including herbal supplements. Taking amiodarone with Harvoni may cause a serious slowing of your heart rate. Common side effects of Harvoni may include tiredness, headache, and weakness. I am ready to put hep C behind me. I am ready to be cured. Are you ready? Ask your Hepsi specialist if Harvoni is right for you. See the all-new Serta Perfect Sleeper Hybrid Mattress and get the king for the price of a queen. Like this king set, just $12.99. Plus get a three-day, two-night window vacation free. And up to five years, zero interest. Because nobody beats P-Rats. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with meteorologist Jim Caldwell. What a pleasant night out there with temperatures running in some cases the 50s, 60s, and even some low 70s were holding on just a little while ago. Let's look and see where we are at the moment. And you're going to find some of those 50s like Monticello, Middlesboro, Harlan, all southern and eastern Kentucky in the mid-50s. Get here to Lexington, we're at 61. But we just go down the road along Interstate 64, get out to Mount Sterling, and it's 55 there as well. Overall, very pleasant to any way you look at it. And end of the day tomorrow, temperatures will be pleasant again. Pretty warm, downright warm, probably in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. As we'll have more of a southerly wind picking up with a system making a run at us. Here's what we've got tonight, though. Some clouds showing up across northern parts of Kentucky. And we likely get in on some high, thin clouds, at least initially. But we've got all this energy, showers, thunderstorms, showing up across Iowa, Minnesota, back into Kansas, where they had reports a little while ago of 10 small-sized hail from some of those thunderstorms. We're not going to see the same impact tomorrow, but we are going to see some of the energy and moisture creep into our area. Let's show you the hour-by-hour -hour breakdown. And as we head through the overnight and into the day tomorrow, you notice those clouds start to show up about 1 o'clock. 
start to, to see a little more of cloudiness, as we do. It happens a lot. But then we get into the afternoon and evening, and we start tracking a few scattered showers, perhaps even a thunder shower or two. This is out ahead of all of that energy, but we've got this big push of moisture that is allowing the development of some of those thunderstorms uh, into uh, Kentucky. Then it gets quiet again, as it usually does. And before you know it, we've got a front rolling into the area. Once that front gets here, it's going to drive up their chances of showers and thunder showers for you on Tuesday. And essentially, it's going to try to park right overhead. And when it does that, it's going to hang out for a little while. This is what the, the reason we're going to see an active, active pattern this week is before, because we'll have daily chances of showers and thunderstorms, but we're very warm all week because we're going to be on the southern side of this. But as long as it's here, the pattern stays very unsettled each and every day leading uh, into the end of the week because we'll have waves of energy right along that and kind of push it back and forth. And so it won't be perfect just like that. But that's one of the reasons we'll have uh, an active pattern this week. There you see the seven-day forecast, and that shows you just how active it is with highs in the low 70s to mid 70s to upper 70s to around 80 degrees. We're all over the place. And of course, you're kind of under some rain a little bit cooler. But finally getting in on rain. And we need that. Believe it or not, we're starting to get a little bit dry, so it's nice to balance things out a little bit. Yeah, to see a little more green in the lawns, that's too. That's right, and that means they grow faster. <laughs> <laughs> Thousands of people took advantage of the great weather out at Keeneland. Today was the last Sunday of the spring meet and military appreciation day. All members of the military and their families received free admission. They even set up a family fun zone with free food and activities for military kids. Track leaders unfolded a massive American flag during the plane of God Bless America. When you come to this culture, you really realize what Kentucky's all about. Standing next to somebody and cheering for horses and getting loud. That's what Keelan's all about. There are no races Monday or Tuesday. They pick back up Wednesday, and the spring meet ends Friday. Up next, the presidential frontrunners look poised to win their party's nominations. Others in the race aren't giving up just yet. The state of Kentucky supported me when they really didn't have to. It wasn't the invoke thing to have an African-American quarterback. And so when I needed them most, they were there. Well, now they need me, and I'm going to be there. Kentucky mornings start here. Breaking in overnight news, weather to plan your day, plus traffic you can take with you. Make WKYT this morning part of your Kentucky morning. Weekdays from 4.30 to 7 on WKYT. Want to fill your garage with the best value brand in America that costs less than a competition? Honda's got it. During Honda's Dream Garage Sales Event, we designed 2016 Accords, the number one selling sedan, just $1.99 a month. Or drive with zero down, zero security, and zero first month's payment. Accords, available with Honda Lane Watch, Brake Assist, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and more, just $1.99 a month or zero due at signing. Honda's got it at your Central Kentucky Honda dealers. Think you might be pregnant? No judgment, no pressure, just help. AssuranceCare.org There's a Kentucky Farm Bureau insurance agent in every county in Kentucky. Someone who's always there for you in times of need and most other times too. Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. At Frankfurt Toyota, we have new 2016 Camrys, up to $3,900 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. New 2016 Corollas and RAV4s, up to $2,200 off MSRP or 0% financing for 60 months. And we'll double your no-cost maintenance to four years or 50,000 miles. Frankfurt Toyota, Google rated 4.9 out of 5 stars. Frankfurt Toyota and online at frankfurttoyota.com. When big news breaks, be the first to know. Download the WKYT News app and turn on push alerts. Breaking news at your fingertips when you need to know what's going on. Tuesday night's Mega Millions jackpot is $108 million, and Wednesday night's Powerball jackpot is $282 million.
Five state primaries are happening this week, and the top two candidates for president are separating themselves from the pack. Brian Webb reports. Some people waited seven hours Sunday to hear Donald Trump speak in Hagerstown, Maryland, after his campaign promised he would act more presidential. It's so much easier to be presidential because I don't have to use any energy. You know, I can just walk out. Uh, a CBS News tracker poll shows Trump with large leads in big primary states like Pennsylvania. He is the only Republican candidate who can win the nomination before the July convention. Ted Cruz has already moved on to Indiana and its primary May 3rd. Stand and fight for the Judeo Christian values that built this great nation. Republican donor billionaire Charles Koch rocked the party today, suggesting Democrat Hillary Clinton might make a better president. President than any of the Republicans in the race. And you're terrible role models. So how, I don't know how we could support them. But we have to do something more. Clinton stopped off at Baptist churches in Philadelphia Sunday morning, well on her way to the Democratic nomination. But don't tell that to Bernie Sanders, who hit Rhode Island and Connecticut Sunday, campaigning as hard as ever. Demand that corporate America invest in this state, in this country, and provide decent paying jobs. John Kasich made the rounds on Sunday morning talk shows, saying he's looking at possible running mates, even though he is in a distant third place. Brian Webb for CBS News, New York. Delaware, Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, and Maryland hold primaries Tuesday. The U.S. is sending an additional 250 special operations troops to Syria. Two U.S. leaders say President Obama will make a formal announcement tomorrow. They say the U.S. forces will not do any direct fighting in Syria. Their goal is to advise Syrian forces in the hopes those forces will take more territory from ISIS. The U.S. already has 50 special operations forces doing similar work in Syria. Turmoil in Nelson County. Some living in Bardstown want new leadership at City Hall. People at a rally today say they've reached a tipping point with Mayor John Royalty. Last week, Police Chief Rick McCubbin announced his retirement. His decision came after several officer demotions and a clash with the current mayor. The mayor promoted Detective Mackenzie Mattingly. Mattingly was once charged with Michael Newby's 2004 murder in Louisville. A jury found him not guilty. There were even some city leaders at tonight's rally. Here is a chief of police of the year for 2015, and you're telling him that you can't consult with him to make those decisions? I think something's wrong. There were also some dispatchers at the rally. They say they have concerns Mayor Royalty will cut jobs by asking state dispatch to handle local police and EMS runs. Today was a big day for Kentucky authors and songwriters in Marion County. Penn Store in Gravel Switch hosted the 20th annual Kentucky Writers Day celebration. The event is always held on the birthday of Robert Penn Warren. Warren won three Pulitzer Prizes. Penn Store is the nation's oldest family operated store. Its owner says the event highlights the incredible talent of Kentucky born authors and songwriters. We bring together authors and poets songwriters, journalists, now it's a advanced to bloggers also. Anything that does with the power of the word. Back in 1990, Governor Wallace Wilkinson signed a bill into law recognizing April 24th as Kentucky Writers Day. Lee Kay's in next with sports where Coach Cal is in the middle of a very busy season. He is. The, you know, this is the time of the year that Cal's busy talking to the recruits and putting together the future of UK basketball. I'll give you the names of some of the guys that he's looking at. And the legends pull off a miraculous comeback on Sunday. Those highlights are next in sports. At Paul Miller Ford, we want all our customers to drive happy. I am Paul Miller's number one fan. My experience buying a car from Paul Miller was great. They were very friendly. My salesman was awesome. That's why we're honored to win our third Ford President's Award for customer satisfaction. Head on down to Paul Miller. They will take care of you and treat you right. Come visit our President's Award sales event and save with 0% financing for 60 months on select Ford vehicles like Bill's. Point, click, drive at paulmillerford.com. I don't want to live with the uncertainties of hep C or wonder whether I should seek treatment. I am ready. Because today, there's Harvoni, a revolutionary treatment for the most common type of chronic hepatitis C. 
Harvoni is proven to cure up to 99% of patients who've had no prior treatment. It's the one and only cure that's one pill once a day for 12 weeks. Certain patients can be cured with just eight weeks of Harvoni. With Harvoni, there's no interferon and there are no complex regimens. Tell your doctor if you have other liver or kidney problems, HIV, or other medical conditions, and about all the medicines you take, including herbal supplements. Taking amiodarone with Harvoni may cause a serious slowing of your heart rate. Common side effects of Harvoni may include tiredness, headache, and weakness. I am ready to put Hep C behind me. I am ready to be cured. Are you ready? Ask your Hep C specialist if Harvoni is right for you. When Dad died, Jim came home from college to help save the family business. Jim made a real difference. We grew Gray Construction from a million dollar business to over a billion dollars in sales a year. We built over 900 projects and helped create over 20,000 jobs in Kentucky. I'm Jim Gray and I sponsored this ad because Washington could use Jim's business sense and some good Kentucky common sense to get things done. Jim Gray, Kentucky first. You know, you don't need a PhD in tractorology to understand that more power is a good thing. Mahindra tractors are engineered for maximum power and backed by a five-year powertrain warranty. Yes, sir, Mahindra tractors even have enough power to give the competition a lift. Take a good look at the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra. Rental Pro with locations in Pikeville, Hazard, London, and now open in Berea. Every house has electricity. Shouldn't every house have an electrician? Are you tired of juggling your finances and can't afford those remodeling projects? Surplus Sales has laminate flooring starting at 69 cents per square foot, including free underlayment with purchase. Come on down to Surplus Sales for some great deals. When it comes to UK basketball, there's the preseason, the actual season, postseason, followed by recruiting season. And that's where we are right now. One of the biggest recruiting times of the year. And John Calipari and his assistants have been racking up those airline miles between Indianapolis and Atlanta this weekend, where many of the top 2017 recruits are competing. Now, for all of you recruiting junkies, and I know there are a lot of you out there, here are the nine names that 24-7 Sports National Analyst Jerry Meyer predicts UK is the favorite to land in his crystal ball. The point guard, Trey Young, and boy, is he pretty good. Hamadou Diallo out of Indianapolis, John Petty, Michael Porter Jr., Jared Vanderbilt, Chris Wilkes. You notice a lot of shooting forwards right there, small forwards rather, P.J. Washington, then some centers, Nick Richards and Ike Agabu. Calipari also heavily recruiting guys like Mohamed Bamba, Trenton Waters, and Gary Trent Jr. Just giving you some names here. Of course, there is still a lot of time for these guys to decide. Jamal Murray has another award for his trophy case. The former Kentucky guard was the recipient of the BBPA Harry Jerome Athletic Excellence Award. The award recognizes excellence in African-Canadian achievement. In recent years, the award has been given to Minnesota Timberwolves Andrew Wiggins and boxing champ Lennox Lewis. It was a rare Sunday off for the Kentucky baseball team following a double header against Arkansas on Saturday. The Wildcats were one out away from suffering their first sweep of this season when Troy Squires came through with the walk off single to right, ending the weekend on a high note. The Sunday off comes at a good time for the team, but what do they do with the extra time? Oh, we recover um, mentally and physically. Uh, we take a break. Uh, there'll probably be some homework getting done. Um, a couple of ice baths, uh, stuff like that, but we'll, 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 we'll calm down a little bit, get ready for the, uh, the last four weekends of, series, or of uh, SEC play. I think it gives us a lot of momentum. Like you said, we've been struggling in a win like this on a double header day especially. Uh, I think it'll give us a lot of momentum. we got a big week coming up. I think we've got two midweeks, and then we get travel down to Auburn, and with finals coming up, I think it really gives us a little momentum. So we'll see. Lexington Legends at home hosting the West Virginia Power. Legends were down 10-1 to before rallying with six runs in the sixth. Here in the eighth, Cody Jones goes deep to bring Lexington within two runs at 10-8. to And the Legends weren't finished. With the bases loaded, Martin Gasparini doubles down the right field line. That'll score a pair of runs to tie the game at 10-10. 
We move to the bottom of the ninth, still tied with Cody Jones batting. A wild pitch allows Ben Johnson to score and complete the comeback. A walk-off wild pitch. Legends come from 10 runs down to win 11 to 10 and take the final game of the series. On Saturday night, the Reds bats exploded for 13 runs after managing just one run in five hits over the first two games of the series with the Cubs. Less than 24 hours later, well, the Reds were back to struggling. Alfredo Simon on the mound first inning. Anthony Rizzo takes Simon deep and out for the two run home run. Cubs up three to nothing after four batters. Third inning, now five nothing for Rizzo. Same result. He sends this one deep, his second home run of the game, eighth of the season. Cubs up seven to nothing. Sixth inning, Drew Hayes into pitch. Same result. Tommy LaStella smashes a solo home run. Reds manage just three hits, and they're shut out by the Cubs, nine to nothing. You want to set your DVRs or tune in tomorrow night during 5.30, the 5.30 news on WKYT for the story of one local high school athlete who had the chance to compete this weekend in UK's Blue White Swim Meet as a way to honor her mom. Madison Winstead's mother, Shane, was diagnosed with colon cancer last year, and the NCAA gave the Dunbar High School senior special permission to compete in a college meet so that her mom could be there to watch her. It's an emotional, it was an emotional evening for everyone involved. I hope she's just proud of me and proud of herself and how far we've come. And I hope she took it as a celebration. I hope for her that she has some amazing opportunities to continue to compete and perform well. But today is not something that can be replicated. And what an amazing story those two have to tell. It's tomorrow night at 5.30 right here on WKYT. They look like great people and looks like a great story. Looking forward to seeing it. And we'll be right back with a final look at weather. P Ranch Great Five Day Sale ends Tuesday. A Mana Top Load Washer, $2.99 Super Saver. A Mana 25 Cubic Foot Stainless Side by Side with Ice and Water Dispenser, only $8.99. 18 months, zero interest on TVs and appliances. Nobody beats P Ranch. Hi, I'm Travis Morgan with North Broadway Auto Sales. We've been in business for over 20 years. We've got over 200 cars in inventory and thousands of happy customers. At North Broadway Auto Sales, we never put GPS tracking devices on our cars. Why pay $500 a month on another car lot when you come here and pay as low as $250 a month? At North Broadway Auto Sales, everybody rides. In North Broadway Auto Sales, todos manejan. Are you ready? Saturday, May 28th, only in E-Town. It's Barbecue Blues and Bikes, brought to you by the Elizabethtown Heritage Council. Kicking off with Thunder into E-Town, benefiting the Elizabethtown Police Foundation. Downtown streets will be buzzing with families, sizzling barbecue, smoking blues, and thousands of bikes. With live music on two stages, it's fun for the entire family. Saturday, May 28th, Barbecue Blues and Bikes. Couldn't do it without our sponsors. Don't miss it. Once through, we'll stop Donald Trump. See, si, Ted Cruz too? He ignored my pape. Who? My pape. Tape? Pape, my pape. The conservative running for Congress who helped Trump build the wall. Will this Mike Pape help Ted Cruz repeal Obamacare? See? Si. We must stop Mike Pape. Vamanos! I'm Mike Pape and I approve this message because no one will stop me from standing up for you. There's no one road out there, no one surface. No one way of driving on each and every road. But there is one car that can conquer them all. The Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Five driving modes let you customize the steering, shift points, and suspension to fit the mood you're in and the road you're on. The 2016 C-Class. Lease the C300 for $379 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. P Ranch Great Five Day Sale ends Tuesday. Get this reclining sectional with Duty Rest Sleeper, $19.99, plus get a free 50 inch LED TV. 60 months, zero interest, and double the free gift cards up to $1,000. Nobody beats P Ranch. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 98.1 The Bull. 
<laughs> We're looking at a lot of rain chances. We are, and our emojis are not very happy about it. They're happy about 8 o'clock and noon tomorrow, but uh, we, we go into duck face because it's okay <laughs> at 5 o'clock tomorrow. It's okay because it's only an isolated chance, so we're kind of happy about it. But as we look ahead to next weekend, because, you know, the three of us, we're always looking forward to weekends because we work every weekend, and we love to work. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we do. <laughs> you can see the, uh, the temperatures look fine, but the problem is, guys, we'll have daily chances of showers and storms, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It's okay to get the rain in here. That last guy kind of looks like you, I think. It is Jim. Well, is it you? He's upset about that rain. It's me when I wear one of those hats. What are they called? Um, oh, my goodness. A toboggan? Uh, or sure, a toboggan. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> sure, that'll work. Thanks for staying up with WKYT. Have a good night.